Welcome to JTown Games. Today I'm doing a tutorial on the simplest way to use a daylight sensor. And I mean, it's pretty straightforward. So you, I'm going to use it to power some lamps or a lamp or whatever. I'll just do one right now, make it quick. But to me, it's I mean, it's pretty easy if you know how redstone works. And the only thing is there is sort of a flaw to my design, which isn't really major, but I'll show you once I get there. Uh, so all I do is I put the sensor down. Wouldn't be hard in survival to do it this way either, but you're going to run your track of redstone to wherever you're going to put your your lamp. You're going to put a torch down to invert it, whatever you want your lamp material to be made of, and then your lamp on top. So then you're just going to fill back up with your dirt. And here's where my flaw is. If I put the uh, block here, it's going to block off the redstone path, and that's already going to be lit up. That's not what you want. So all you have to do for mine is to put one there, and there you go. Simple enough. You've got a block standing at it. So if you would do it, you know, beside a mound of dirt here, so that it doesn't look out of place, or put something around it, just don't cover up the sensor. You're def defeating the purpose. But there you go. So that's all there is to it. And set the time tonight, and there you go. The, the uh, lamp is lit up. So I mean, there's the simplest form that I have done and used, and it's easy to figure out if you haven't already. So that's how the uh, daylight sensor works. As soon as it goes night, it powers your redstone. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you've got a way to sort of improve my uh, ugly form of hiding it. But there you go. Thanks for watching.